you got a I mean, I, I know you all, all you guys are familiar with uh, with the incident or with the drama that had happened a few days ago, Arnold. maybe maybe even a week ago, you know, about uh, Arnold and he, you know, how he was, uh, you know, how he mentioned, you know, like. You okay, know, I, I, I don't know what to feel about that. So right now what you're saying, I, I want I want to know your opinion about it. I mean, you know, a, a lot of a lot of people felt betrayed, man, because a lot of people, you know, looked up to to Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, who who didn't? I mean, I I like to look up to Arnold Schwarzenegger, and you know, I'm not not really embarrassed to say that. Yeah. And uh, so when he says, you know, you know, basically, you know, screw your freedom. Yeah, exactly. I mean. That's very that's a very controversial topic considering even even right now considering everything that's going on, but I mean, I mean you know what, what can I say, man? When I when I first heard that I I didn't know what to think about about it. You know I I really didn't know what to think about it considering you know I'm just such a huge Arnold Schwarzenegger fan that when I heard something like that I didn't know what to think about. But Me either it's, it's a mixed emotions. Yeah, mixed emotions. mixed emotions. But I mean, he did come out and apologized about it. But is it enough at this point? You know, I mean, he did say, you know, he was mad. You know, he got over. He he got carried away. He said stuff. You know that you know he didn't really mean. I know everyone does or say you know stuff that they do regret when they're upset. But I mean, I mean, it, it did take its toll because you know some you know some uh, some bodybuilders and some you know athletes. It, it affected the fitness community. Yeah. In a way, so uh, before we look at the athletes, uh, let, let, let me give me give my opinion on this. Uh, when I hear about uh, a screw your freedom, I was like, really? Like you? You gonna say that? Like you of all of the people, you gonna say screw your freedom? You know when you actually uh, made or, or made your name here in the United States? You know where freedom is the number one. That's what stands. This country stands for freedom. And uh, I don't know. I, I was not offended by it. I was like, okay, it's just his opinion. He's entitled to his opinion. Yeah. So I guess, okay, that's what you think. That's fine. If I think differently, well, too bad. You know, it is what it is. I did not feel offended, but it was like, yeah, maybe disappointed. I was maybe disappointed. Okay, really? You're going to say that? But at the end of the day, I respect his opinion. So... If that's his opinion, well, I guess I just have to respect it. But uh, I, I was disappointed uh, with this uh, statement. Yeah, yeah. Like, for instance, you know, we got here a uh, kind of on Munger, which, I mean, he played Arnold Schwarzenegger in, uh, was the, name of that movie? in the, the movie. I think it was. Uh, the movie. Oh, oh, man. Uh, it was about the IFBB. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. Uh, the, that was Joe Weider life. Yeah, uh, it was a Joe oh, Weider movie. Oh, and. Uh, yeah. You know he, he he was coming up and uh, he he made he made the uh, Arnold right? yeah he portrayed Arnold on that movie and uh, well he felt uh, he had a, a lot of mixed emotions and he decided to what did he do he threw away so he we see here a clip okay first we see him here with a picture of uh, Arnold a famous picture of Arnold half of a picture being Arnold the half of him being him. Follow it with a video, and the video is, you know, we all know that says to screw your freedom. And uh, he says that he's disappointed about that and all that, and uh, he just trashes that picture of him. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but by the way, man, uh, the movie's called uh, Bigger. Yeah, bigger. Out. Oh yeah, yeah bigger. Yeah, yeah, back in uh, 2018. 2018. I mean, I saw the movie. It, it's good, man. It, it's really good. Uh, I it's like entertaining it. if you like the topic. Yeah, exactly. If you don't know about the topic, it's going to be really boring. Yeah, it's going to be a really boring movie if you're not into bodybuilding. Really need if to be really interested in the story of how the IVB was created, you know, how it all started. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, to me, it was very shocking when I saw Callum Von Monger, you know, throwing away all of his posters of Arnold. Considering he played Arnold in that's one of crazy. the movies, yeah, that's crazy. really crazy. And man. he has a lot of. Uh, it's really similar to Arnold. Yeah, he um, is very similar to Arnold. Unfortunately, he, has, he, he did not have the career that Arnold had, right? But uh, because Which, a lot of injuries yeah. and his way of life, honestly, because of his way of life is the reason that he was not able to be on his top of the. Would, would you say that he even has an accent? I mean, maybe not like Arnold, but he sure does have an accent too, right? Yeah, well, he's from Australia. Yeah, so, I mean, 
It's yeah. almost the same story, man. Same you know, that. from another country. You know, he comes to the United States and makes a name of, you know, for of himself. himself for himself. You know, in the fitness industry or bodybuilding, whatever you want to call it. And he came out in a movie playing Arnold. I mean, hopefully he does better on, on that uh, actor career later on in his life or not, because of all his injuries, uh, his uh, bodybuilding career is uh, it's going to be tough. Yeah. You know, because of his leg injury, his uh, quad is not it's not going to be able to train his quad as it used to. So it's going to be really hard for him to be like on the top of his level and be able to be you know on the Mr. Olympia and all that. So we wish him the best. Yeah. So another really uh, another athlete, uh, power lifter, uh, is Brian Shaw. So let's look at this video. As many of you know, I am a proud American. I train with an American flag on the wall of my gym, and I'm also a big believer in freedom. Now there are a lot of people in our country right now that have forgotten that freedom is very important. Also. I have trained with a picture or poster of Arnold Schwarzenegger on the wall of my gym basically since I started training because Arnold was a huge influence on me. Now Arnold has made some comments recently and he is free to say whatever he wants to say but when you say something like screw your freedom, it doesn't sit well with me and I know it doesn't sit well with a lot of other Americans out there and therefore I will no longer be training with a poster of Arnold on the wall of my gym, it's time for it to come down. What? That's crazy, man. That's yeah, crazy. I mean, those... I feel him. I understand him. Maybe, maybe that's the way I feel. Maybe because I don't have a poster of Arnold, I don't take him off, right? But uh, I understand. Freedom is really important in this country, and yeah. uh, I, I do believe in freedom and everything that's going on. And uh, I don't know. Maybe a lot of affecting affected us differently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, I, I did. You know, I, I, I did feel very uh, disappointed in myself. Also, you know, like, like you said about you know what had happened. But I mean, you know, maybe, maybe you know it affects us a little bit more different. You know, especially. I guess it also depends on your background. I mean, I like to consider myself as a bit of a patriotic. I mean, I wasn't born in this country. But I do live in this country now, and I mean, I feel that the United States has given a lot to me. So I, I feel like I feel, I, way, I, feel, I, feel I feel I mean, and I, I you know I, I feel kind of proud to live in the United States and yeah, you know too. be a be a member of the United States. Be able to have the freedom that a lot of countries yeah. wish to have. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, if you guys are from another country, you know, it's it's very also it's also very important that you know you feel very uh, proud of your countries as well. I feel that being proud of your own country where you live in and, you know, I feel that, like that's very important as well. And I mean, if you guys are, if anybody's, you know, maybe listening to us from another country, you know, um, shout out to everyone. I hope, you know, everyone it's is very, good. yeah, is doing good and very proud of your own country. And I feel like that's very important. Okay. So also, uh, Reckon One uh, took away their sponsorship on the uh, Arnold Classic. Also, but uh, we're not gonna listen to that video. But also, he, he said that he was not gonna be uh, uh, what is it? Uh, doing the Arnold? But what was it? It was not gonna sponsor the Arnold anymore because of what happened, right? Then he came out with a statement that it's not about the athletes. If the athletes wants to uh, compete in the Arnold, they're welcome to do. You know, because that that's what they make a living for. You know, to to compete. So there's another uh, fitness, uh, the fitness industry that was affected by what he said. Mm -hmm. And Record One actually just removed his sponsorship to Arnold Classic. Yet, uh, if the Record One athletes want to compete, they still can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I think that's a fair, um, you know, fair choice, fair movement. You know, maybe, you know, you're not going to stop your athletes, you know, from... Uh, Maybe want to, wanting to continue and pursuing, you know, their their dream because of maybe a one person might have said, you know, so um, I, I feel like that that's a really good choice because I mean maybe this is going on right now, but maybe this is not going to be the case in a week or two or maybe a month later, you know, uh, people make mistakes and I mean you know like, like we said you know Arnold you know he he apologized for it he was a little bit mad. But I mean, I, I feel like this is a good choice for, um, I mean, a good decision. You know, maybe uh, 
Uh, that's that sounds more like a private decision, you know, like a personal decision. But you're not gonna. He's not making a personal decision into everybody's decision yeah. in in his company. So I mean that that's I feel like that's a good move. Okay, perfect. So, so that's what happened with Arnold this week, and uh, it's, it's been uh, triggered. Uh, a lot of the fitness injury was triggered by what he said.